Hello YouTube, this is Anne Elizabeth. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own DVD um, drive, a USB DVD drive. Uh, you would want to do that if you have a um, laptop that doesn't have a DVD drive in it. That's very common and getting more common by every year. I have three uh, laptops without one. One convertible, one very new one, and an older netbook. But I also used to have uh, DVD drives in my older laptops, so what I did was I just unscrewed one of them and took out the DVD drive. What I did wrong... See, I have two of these. I didn't notice that there are two different connections. This one is an IDE drive and the first one I bought was a SATA drive and um, I'm going to show you how these look so that you... Uh, let's see, that's not the one. These look like this and it does not fit my drive so I had to buy a new one. Um, in my local store, there are um, very cheap DVD drives, but I bought this on eBay for even cheaper. It's uh, very cheap. So, uh, let's see if I can get this open. Oh, right. First, first, this one should be right. Let's see. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to take this out of the uh, laptop because uh, every laptop is different and uh, if you're fairly technical you should be able to do this. Let's see if this works. This was very fiddly and I think I need to remove this plate before attaching the thing. That I need to get in there. There are no very precise instructions included, so maybe on the eBay uh, thing, eBay listing. So, alright, let's see. This should be better. Ah, yes, that's in there, and now let's see if I can pry this apart. Yep, then line up the back plate with the uh, USB thing. And I think I need to remove this too. Let's see how I do that. Um, I had to use the very thinnest screwdriver that I had, Phillips. Ah, here it comes. And then there should be a front place place somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it. All right, I'll just put this in first. Okay, so I found the front plate and that should attach here.
goes into two s several slots here, just like the original. Doesn't actually attach properly. Ah, there, there we go. And then the last thing is two screws to hold it together. This one wasn't too easy to screw in. There we go. And then finally we have two USB cables. One is for power and one is for attaching uh, to the computer. This one into the DVD drive and this one into the computer. So um, you need two uh, to uh, USB inputs to get this to work. This could of course be uh, used with a, uh, a power supply, a USB power supply if you don't have enough on your computer. So uh, that's it. I hope you learned a little bit. Thank you. Bye.